My name is Kevin Oxenrider. I'm the Amphibian and Reptile Program Leader with the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources. When people think about the illegal wildlife trade, a lot of times the first thing their mind goes to is elephant tusks and the ivory trade or rhinoceros horns or you know these big cats and their hides being traded. A lot of people don't think about turtles and don't think about snakes and, and amphibians, salamanders and things of that nature. In reality, these animals are actually being traded a lot more frequently than, than people are giving them credit for. West Virginia is not exempt from any of that and we've had several large poaching cases take place just here in West Virginia. This is just a, an eastern box turtle which is one of the most commonly poached animals but this guy here and just like every other reptile and amphibian in West Virginia they're West Virginians just like we are so we want to make sure that we're protecting them so that we can enjoy them and so that they can continue to serve their ecological function within the environment. As of March 23rd 2021 it would be unlawful to possess the majority of native amphibians and reptiles in West Virginia. Now, there are a few exceptions. You know, snapping turtle, eastern spiny softshell, green frog, the American bullfrog. These are animals that are commonly collected for consumption. People like to eat them. And so we wanted to ensure that those animals were still available to people. We also have 10 species of salamanders that are commonly used for fishing bait. You can look at more information about the exact regulations by either visiting the fishing regulations handbook or or you can go onto our website and you can look at regulation brochure for the amphibian reptile regulations. We are aware there are individuals that are in possession of native reptiles and amphibians that were lawful to possess prior to the update to the regulations that took place. If you are one of those people that has an animal that was legally owned prior to that date. We're asking that you reach out to West Virginia DNR. You can go onto the website or you can go to any of the district offices and you can get an application to fill out. Basically just to give us some information about the animal that you have and so that we can get you an authorization letter so you can maintain possession of that animal and, and stay in compliance with the regulations.